Well, you've done some really dumb things uh, so far here, but I think this one, I know what you're doing. This one definitely takes the cake. Um, don't, I don't want to know. Don't I've got my tinfoil hat preparing for the alien invasion. I've got water spread out strategically throughout the studio. Yeah. I've also ordered a baby monitor on eBay so we can pick up the uh, signal over there from space from 100 billion miles away. A space from 100 billion, a baby monitor. Well, don't quote. Miles. It's not exact. It's probably a few hundred miles off, but... I got it from eBay uh, in the description, so it's legit. Uh, that's not true. That's not how that works. Anyway, welcome to Movie Feuds, the show that lets you decide some of the biggest debates in movie history. This week, Adam and I are debating M. Night Shyamalan's signs. You're going to be thanking me when this is over. I doubt that. Signs, like all M. Night movies, is very character-driven. And who's at the wheel? Oh, none other than Mel Gibson. Who's in the passenger seat? Oh, no big deal, just Joaquin Phoenix. And who do we got in the back? Oh, just one of the Culkin brothers. Don't forget the fourth passenger, M. Night Shyamalan himself. Another great actor. He's in The Village. He's in The Sixth Sense. He's in Lady in the Water, Unbreakable. He all those movies. Exactly. Let's get back to the real actors in this picture. Mel Gibson. We know this guy's got the chops for acting because look at his real life persona. He's batshit crazy. You got Rory Culkin walking in his brother's shoes, really coming into his own as an actor in this movie. Poor man's Macaulay. You gotta love him. Why didn't they get Macaulay Culkin for this movie? I mean, was he busy? Was he just... What was he doing? You know he's gonna be a better movie star. You know, he's hanging out at home. Alone. Setting up traps, you know, taking out burglars, that sort of thing. Hanging out with Corey Feldman and the other washed-up child stars. Sir Joaquin Phoenix. He's not a star, I just wanted to say it, but... He's really, he really does a bang-up job in this one. In fact, it's the only movie I like him in. What else might be a possibility? I couldn't disagree more. Oh! I usually like Joaquin Phoenix in every other movie, except for these two M. Night Shyamalan films, Signs and The Village, I think he was in. Let's get down to the meat and potatoes of this thing. The plot, classic alien invasion story, and the camera this time takes place on the common guy. That's all it was. It was an alien invasion movie. It was really lazy. Even the tagline was lazy. It's happening. Come on, M. Night Shyamalan. That's so lazy that he actually used that as a movie later on in his career. It's like he just sat there and thought, it's happening. That's a good one. What if I made that into a movie? The happening. Like all staple M. Night movies, this has the classic twists. This time it's the alien silent killer. Water. Another great plot point there by M. Night Shyamalan. Uh, let's bring aliens to Earth, uh, Earth made up of 90% water, and then have them die by water. Great choice. Good job. Yeah, I feel like the aliens kind of dropped the ball on the planet picking. But you know what? We didn't see that twist coming, and that's what made it cool. You know what the wife didn't see coming? The car. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Went there. The big water killing twist also played off of the other smaller ones, like the fact that the wife said swing away and he had to knock over the glasses of water and kill the aliens. It was all really cool. It brought the, uh, Mel Gibson's character back into his faith. It was, it was just neat. You know how many glasses of water that guy shattered? I mean, who's going to clean that up? Their, their house is just full of glass now. I, I doubt that's, that's their big concern. That would be my concern. I think it's rare to see movies where showing the actual alien is a good idea. I mean, most of the time they're just cheesy looking, you know, stereotypical aliens. They're, you know, obviously CGI or foam heads. I mean, it's just not a good idea. Well, M. Night embraced the cheesiness with this full force. I mean, he's got the, the tinfoil hats. He's got the green skinned aliens. It's all throwback. It's really, it's really kitsch. Somebody should throw him back. I don't know if kitsch is even the right word to use there, but I'm throwing it out. I, I don't know. The bottom line is M. Night is a great visionary who lost his way somewhere along the lines and he needs to get back to his roots and make more movies like The Sixth Sense and The Signs. Not Signs, just The Sixth Sense. He just has one root. It's The Sixth Sense. He just needs to go there. There's a couple of roots. They're growing. No, they're dying. Well, I feel like we've just beat this movie to death and the only thing left to do now is throw water on it and make it go away. But before we do that, we want to hear from you. Let us know what you thought about the movie Signs. Leave us a comment at facebook.com slash moviefeuds or on the show page at moviefeuds.com. And now you're drinking the water. That's great. It's awesome. It serves multiple purposes, fending off the aliens, and gives me something to drink. It's not even one really good purpose at all. It's giving me sustenance. Mm -hmm. More than just reviews, this is Movie Feuds.
Sir Joaquin Phoenix is in this. <laughs> he says it's so good. <laughs> sir? Just throwing a sir in front of it. Let us know what you thought about M. Night Shyamalan's signs. Leave us a comment at facebook.com slash moviefeuds or on the show page at moviefeuds.com. Now you're drinking the water. It's It serves multiple person. Per- ah! Oh, wow. You, you ruined that entire thing. Seriously, M. Night? They chose, the aliens choose Earth. Out of all the options, they got Mars and stuff. Jesus. Oh, that's, that's good. That's and then good. I can do that. Yeah, kind of dropped the I feel like they kind of dropped the ball on, picking the, on the planet picking. I gotta wait for it to hang up. Is this recording? God damn.